The tides have been calm so far today, but that's expected to change by the later part of this week as the king tides start to arrive. Tides could be as high as anywhere from 8 to 10 feet high just in time for the holiday weekend. On a clear day like you're seeing today, you can walk along the Aquina South Beach jetty and practically walk out to the ocean, but it's going to look a lot different later this week. But you can find yourself going out on the jetty and as the time comes in, you can either be stranded or you can uh, possibly a sneaker wave could be riding on that and sweep you off one of the jetties. Greg Spear with the Oregon Army Corps of Engineers says he wants people to use extra caution this weekend, especially as more people spend time at the beach for the Thanksgiving holiday. How high? Some of the waves will be high enough to cover up the jetty. Uh, this year they're supposed to be right around 10 feet, uh, which is uh, about 1.5 1 to, 1 to 2 feet above normal high tide cycles. This is the time of year when the moon is at its closest point to the earth, and the earth is at its closest point to the sun. The moon and sun both aligned to have the highest gravitational pull on the ocean tides uh, of the year. These tides result in stronger sneaker waves. It's been almost three years since a Portland family of three was swept out to sea while walking on Cannon Beach during very high tides. The father survived, but his two kids, ages four and seven, did not. Uh, after a, a king tide, especially coming in with a storm, tends to watch logs up on the beach and they are very unstable. Another round of king tides arrive next month, right around Christmas. Those tides are expected to be anywhere from two to three feet higher. In Newport, Joe Ranieri, KGW News.